Good morning. We're down on one of my favorite beaches here in Pembroke, looking at rockweed. And uh, a few days ago we had a storm, big blow, maybe 40 mile an hour winds. And what happens in the summertime is uh, a lot of the rockweed becomes what they call storm cast. And if you look down this beach, you'll see a whole windrow of rockweed and marsh grass that's been torn loose or uprooted from the various intertidal areas and it's washed up on this beach. So what we're going to do is take a look at the different kinds of rockweed and the things that are washed up in this windrow. Basically for rockweed you have two different kinds uh, that are prevalent here on the main coast. Uh, both of them are called collectively rockweed but there's two types. We've got a knotted rack which is a long sort of a uh, spindly type rockweed and uh, the Latin name for that is Ascophyllum nodosum or maybe it's Ascophyllum not quite sure. Here you can see a lot of Spartina grass that's washed up, broken off in this windrow. The other type of uh, rockweed that we have here in our bay and all up and down the main coast and in the maritimes is uh, bladder rack. And bladder rack is so named for these big bladders that you see here, or floats, uh, that are used to support the, the uh, plant when the tide comes in and it's underwater. Now in this case, if you look at this rockweed, the storm literally tore the stone and the hold fast, the whole plant loose from the beach. Now if you look down here, you'll see little bladder rack plants that are all attached to rocks. What happens in that case is as the tide comes in, it literally pulls the rock out of the ground and then all the floats actually float this plant right up to the high tide line. And uh, these plants aren't dead. They're used to drying out for a certain number of hours each day as the tide goes out. But if you look at this windrow, over time this will start to decay. There's various little amphipods. You can see them jumping around in here. They will start to chew on this rockweed, this plant material, and they will uh, be turning it, you know, breaking it down and decomposing it, and after a certain amount of time it'll just turn to a black greenish ooze. It'll be full of the little larval, uh, sort of like little maggots of these little amphipods, and they will uh, totally break the rockweed down. Now the other type of rockweed I was speaking of, the knotted rack, is this particular plant right here. And you can see this this plant's kind of long and thin as, a port, uh, as opposed to squat and bushy. And the reason why it's called knotted rack is it resembles a piece of rope with knots tied in it at certain intervals up through. And on this plant, this knotted rack, you can actually see in this case that it wasn't... The, this entire plant, all of those little floats actually lifted this little rock out from the substrate on the beach. And then as the, as the wind and the waves blew on shore, it, it towed or it pushed this whole plant up onto the beach. So it, it takes it hold fast and all. And the hold fast, of course, is a little specialized structure that holds the plant to the rock so that it can grow throughout the summer months and, and reproduce and go through its life cycle. So anyway, that's all on uh, Knotted Rack. This is Tidepool Tim, closing out for another day.